while the main function of your SIEM should be to alert you to find bad things happening on your environment without you necessarily be looking for them, in many other cases you want to look for some things uh, within your SIEM. So let's talk here about uh, searches uh, in Curator. So a search, not only when you are looking into the console, you may find the stuff that you want, but you can also save a search and use it later for very nice uh, reports. You can use it some searches as part of the logic involved in a particular offense. Uh, you can also put them in nice dashboards that indicates uh, some conditions. And we're going to be doing some of that uh, uh, later on these uh, videos. This is a work based on a nice presentation created by Shen Lundi. So searches can be categorized in Curator in three types. The first one, and it's the one that we're going to dedicate most of the rest of this video, is what are called quick filter searches. What are those? Those are the Google type of searches. When I want to search for something that I do not know specifically, you know, where that data is on the actual entirety of even the payload of my actual events or flows, I go for the quick searches. So you can use the quick filter on the and, and all the searches on the uh, flows or the logs by switching here between advanced searches and quick searches. So if here we want to find, for example, on all my logs, I want to find where the word unapproved actually exists, I can just click here like so, and I specify what time option, let's say that is on the last uh, 15 minutes, and I get these two events. This is very much like Google searches. I can put things like uh, between double quotes to find the, not the occurrences for any one of those, but the actual uh, full text on it. If I want to look for uh, on approved uh, website, so then you just, you know, just put it uh, like that. Uh, I can actually perform that search. And I need to specify here that is web sites. I could also search, let's say that I want to find the ones that do not have FTP in it. So I can use the word, the logical and operator and say and not and then I'm going to put FTP again. What you are searching for is uh, case insensitive, but those uh, logical commands are case sensitive. And then that should give me only correctly those the ones that do not have FTP. I can combine these uh, logical operators and I can put, you know, I'm not going to do this search, something or that. And, and it will find those specific words. So it's actually very, very powerful. I can also make even regular expression searches in here. I can put, for, uh, you need to uh, surround those by uh, forward slashes. So here I'm looking for the existence of any PDF or any executable in it, and I find a few here. And this is very powerful when you do not know exactly whether what I'm looking at is a, is a source IP or a destination IP. I just want to look for that existence of that uh, particular element. And the searches, because all this data has been indexed, are actually very fast. Of course, not everything all the time gets indexed. If you go here into the admin tab under system setting by default on the database setting, the data 
on logs and flows for 30 days is actually indexed. That's why these searches are so fast. If you want to increase this, be careful because this may have implications on the amount of storage that you are using. But again, those quick filter searches are very, very good on logs and, and flows to look for data that you don't know precisely what component that is. But you just want to find and find it quick. The next type of search is the UI actually far more precise than the quick filter that I'm finding just the occurrences of these everywhere on the UI let's actually take a look at how you make searches there so you go here under search and you specify a new search the first part is where you want to save that search and it gives you an option there and the next one is whether it's going to be a basic search or advanced search via AQL. We're going to talk extensively about that later. You specify the time range, whether it's, you know, I want to catch this as they are happening. I want to set my trap and be ready to be when the events actually come. I want to put a, some interval. I want to make it uh, recent. I want to specify from this day to that day, etc. Uh, let me go over here quickly. The next section is how do I want, what data do I want and how I want to see it. So in here you select the columns that you want actually being shown and you can, you know, take, for example, event count out and, and add uh, domain in, you know, uh, those type of things. And also in here you can specify how do I want to group my search by. So, for example, if I want to group it by event name, I need to get rid of the event from the column, of course, and then add uh, the event name here as the group by. And then all the all the results of my search are going to be under that uh, event name. And then there is the meat of the search. In here, you specify which parameter. And take a look at this list, impressive list of parameters that you can actually look for is all these categories categories uh, many of them by default many of them are actually custom things that you can actually specify from uh, custom DSMs or from additional things that you want to catch or extension that you are from the app exchange I mean the, the, the list is actually uh, very very impressive and then with any one of those comes the the, the type of operator whether it is uh, uh, unique, equal, not equal, you know, containing, not containing. You specify your, your, your actual search, you execute the search, and you get uh, the results that you want. But when you want to do searches that are have options that are not in the UI, and the UI as powerful it is, and no UI is, is infinite on the amount of things that you can put in it, uh, then is where AQL comes, and then you pivot here from quick filter to advanced search, uh, from quick filter to advanced search, and then you specify you're going to make your searches in SQL type of queries. And again, I'm going to go into more details on that later. But uh, AQL is the way to go. So Curator stores all that data about logs and flows in a database called Arial, and that's where the a stand for an AQL and when you want to do even uh, especially programmatic things there's actually access uh, via API to all these queries so you want to write some Python script and you, that those uh, perform searches on curator uh, data all that is accessible via the API I'm going to put in the show this uh, the uh, video description uh, I'm going to put a link to the actual github library where examples of that API exist in the subsequent videos we're going to start from very basic AQL searches into very sophisticated one